<clears throat> okay, mic is working. Everything should be working. To join requests. Hi, what's up? Bell Air Music. Let's see. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Heading to the gym. Health is important. Good job. Good job. I need to close this window. It's getting really loud. Okay. Привет, мистер Льюис. Hand and brain only chest at work. Спасибо. Спасибо, что зашли на огонек. Сегодня у нас арена. For those who don't know, today is arena with a thematic tournament. So let's see. While we're waiting for the people. Спокойно, нормальная музыка. Окей. Большой любитель музыки. Не, 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 не. Wow, I have a lot of challenges here suddenly. All right, where, uh, where is everybody? Where is everybody? The tournament is starting soon. Yeah. Спокойно музыку. Что-нибудь ambient такое. Okay. My favorite group was actually The Doors. Among other things. Of course, you know, Modern Talking was back from the Soviet times. Right? What else? I was listening. I listened to a bunch of uh, stuff on radio in the US. But um, I haven't listened to any music lately. So that's about it. How can you join? Click on the title. Join my club. You have to join the club, man. Um, the club is here. My God, this thing is so slow. My internet is very slow. Hmm. There. This is my... Club on Lee Chess. So you have to join the club. All right. So I'm going to post it in the chat. Password for the arena. 
Street Fighter Spanish, I think. Oh my god, I think I forgot to put it. Yeah. All right, let, let me redo it because uh, you guys. Uh, uh, okay, let me redo this tournament. Let me redo this tournament. All right, no password. It's no password. Okay, standard 45 minutes. Oh, wait, why is the duration only 45 minutes? Should be two hours. Two hours. Half an hour before the tournament starts. Everything correct, no password, right? All right. Ooh. Okay. I just put the arena here. The maximum length. Okay. There. Mm. That's my club. All right. And I need to change it in my Twitch channel. So let's change it in my Twitch channel. I have no idea why my internet is so slow lately, but it's extremely slow. Uh, it's the most memorable game ever. Jim Morrison, of course, everybody. There is okay, yeah. Michael, I just made a new, new, new tournament uh, without passwords, so you don't need a password. All right, passwords are confusing. We trust people in our channel, so we're gonna change this. It's correct. All right, looks correct. All right, so that's the new tournament. All right, that's the new tournament. And um, all right, bingo. You guys got the new tournament. The ECO code. There is no code for the Spanish um, Open, so you have to play a few moves of your own. Um, wow, it's been such a long time. I don't even remember the ECO code for the um, Open Ryu. Um, it's Sears. Oh my God, I don't even remember. Buenas, hi Misha, hi Giga, hi Mieris, Michael, Behang. Um, what's up? No password, guys. No password. Just um, join the club. Some people subscription expired. They did. All right. They're still in the club. All right, so we have to figure out who is not a subscriber. Yeah, so this club idea was basically, yeah. All right, it's limited, I guess. Is okay, but most of the people are resubscribing and subscribers. They're honest people, and I tr we trust you guys, right? If um. If some of you are, you know, you, you let your subscription pass, expire, I mean, it's okay if you play in, uh, in, 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 a, in a tournament, but uh, please uh, do resubscribe, all right, because it'll be fair to everybody else, right? So, uh, yeah, you know, you know let, let, the, uh, let the people who have uh, old uh, subscriptions, they can play for one tournament, that's fine. Let them in more people. Uh, no, we have a lot of people in the club actually. Look at all these guys in the in the club, right? I think there's a lot of people here. All right, I uh, I see some names there, which sound familiar, but are you actually a subscriber or a club member? Bahango, you're at applied, right? Okay, good. Good, you're accepted. You have a star, man. That's good. Okay, who else? Mr. Bogdan, 
You don't have a start next to your name, sir. You need my. You need to be either Twitch subscriber, you need to be a Leech's patron, or you need to be a title player. Those are three. Those are one of the three requirements necessary to join the club. I actually joined. Uh, actually, allow Leech's patron members to join the club because they are patrons of this website, right? So if you're a patron, yeah, you can join the club because you're doing a good thing for the club. I think that's fair, right? Still not sure. Hi, hi guys, hi, hi newcomers. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the thing is, you guys had a huge advantage on me. You have prepared for this. I haven't even looked at it, so I'll be playing from the uh, from the memory. But of course, the more you play, right, the more you analyze, and then it comes back to you. So, um, so we're gonna study. We're gonna get better as we play. There is no password, Mister Mears. No password at all. Hi, Darth Vader. All right. So who are the join requests that are um, subscri subscribers? Hi, chess lover. I haven't played open Spanish actually in uh, many, many years. I've, I, the only time I played it was when I was a kid, right? And then I switched to Sicilian Khan and basically never played it again. The only times I, fa I was facing it uh, with white, yeah? And it's a very decent opening, to be honest. Um, uh, Vlad, KRM, yes, uh, because you are not member, but uh, now you will be. Now you can join the. Now you can join the arena. Because I'm looking at the. Um, right. All right, Vlad, you should be able to join. No problem. Yes, the, the tournament actually starts in 23 minutes. So you guys... Um, so we have already 8 people in the arena. My god, my internet sucks. Put a link, it's in the title! Mieris, my man, you're, you're, you spend so much time on this channel, you should know that things like that are in the title, alright? My God, where else do you spend your time? What other channels, what other stream channels you go to? Admit it, go on to all the latest channels, right? Okay. All right, so... Um, correct. Three spectators, okay. Wow, there's a whole lot of things there, yeah. Ten people in the tournaments, good. You ask admins to put open Spanish in the list? Of course. Thank you for asking, but... You're asking them to do more work, man. They already done a ton of work and they still do. That is like really not on the top of the priority. Besides, you can you can make a couple of moves uh, by yourself, right? It's not that hard. Hey, break coffee. All right, so these guys, I don't know, they are not on the channel, right? So they're not uh, members, they're not uh, patrons. All right, Mr. Bogdan. All right, I'm going to start declining.
Okay, waiting for the people. 20 minutes, 10 people so far. Ну, там была такая интересная партия. Как мне спросить ему разделить по поводу этой партии? Окей. Rob24, you should be in the channel, man. And ask me stuff, because I don't see you are... Ну да. Но они молодцы, начали тоже стримить. Ну, только на YouTube, да? Uh, я не видел их не Twitch канал. It's possible to make a stream of questions and answers when you ask to explain some kind of endgame position. Ну да, давно уже. Так приятельствуем. Только YouTube, да. Окей. Alright, Bogdan. Dude, you're not my Twitch subscriber, man. Mr. Lewis, you're taking over the channel. Triangulation team is tricky. Well, let's see. Okay, so on Mondays we do arenas, right? On Tuesdays I stream title Tuesdays. Then um, on Fridays we have the Simon, right? Then um, on Sundays we have Unity tournaments. So that's four days a week I'm already streaming. Пора отписываться от продажного Хикару. Hello, Mr. Persian. Premature articulation. Ну, давайте без оскорбительных э, э, таких вот фраз, пожалуйста. У нас интеллектуальный канал. Ясно. Mr. Premature Articulation, you're subscribed with Twitch Prime. So, um, I'm waiting for your um, club request join. What else do we have? We have 10 people in the tournaments. Okay. Hmm. All right, so while we're waiting, let's see if I can raise my elo a little bit up. Sabina is streaming, Vlad Chess is streaming, Contra Taco. All right, let's play a game or two. Well, it's Monday. What do you guys expect? Something new in the London system. All right, I think everybody knows about this new idea. And a bishop b5 check then, what? Ooh, king e7. A brave world of king e7. Yeah, it reminds me of that game I played on the Simul, right? I think. We also played King E7, then I got killed. Good afternoon from Portugal. Good afternoon. Nine people, somebody left. Okay. Somebody left. Hmm. I mean, even with the king on e7, you still have to be careful, right? Still have to be careful. 
Well, now you can take the spawn. Because you opened the file, right, for the king. A c4, for example, then he cannot really take it. A5 looks nice. I like A5 in such positions, fixing the pawn on A6, also taking away this uh, very important square. So potentially Queen A4, Rook C1, Knight C6, or Queen E2, right? Attacking this pawn. Also, the B4 pawn is now kind of weak. Uh, thanks for the... Um, it was with me that game? Right. Well, okay. So Queen A4... And we're preparing to trade this guy, play rook c1 also, and uh, see what's going on. So some ideas with knight g5 are not possible, because if he takes here, then we take, take, right? So knight g5 looks very interesting. Alright, rook c1. It's fine. Then if rook c8, oh, like that. My god. My god, this looks like a disaster. Okay. Rook c6 actually very tempting, yeah? Rook c6 is very tempting. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if it works. Just gonna try to grab this bishop. This is a key bishop, right? So, take, take. Um, knight takes, knight takes. Probably wanna keep my knights. So let's grab it like this. Hmm. And I'm actually planning to play rook b6, so let's take a look if this works. I think it's pretty damn good idea. Right? Kind of pretty. Positional sack. Because again of this king. And queen b4 check. Followed by a, b, 6, right? And then black has huge problems. See how this exchange sack sort of... Sort of um, completely destroyed his position. My opponent left the game. Okay, f3, rook hanging, bishop hanging, pawn hanging, king in the center. Good compensation, yeah, for the exchange. My god, what is going on? What the hell is going on? Um, tengo un pregona cuando finaliza simultáneas viernes de que analizar el partido de Patricia analizar. What? Misha Bechtiev, please speak. Uh... All right, we're gonna claim victory because this is bullshit. Whatever he is doing, he is not working. Alright, let's see. Kaidanov. Alright, which one of you guys are here in the chat? Are you guys here in the chat? Let me know, because um, I want to see if... Um, these guys are my subscribers. Hi, Virginia. What's up, man? So the tournament is actually starting in 11 minutes. Doesn't matter how many people join, we're gonna play. At the end of the simul analyze some games, we like our game next time. Misha Bechtev, I analyzed the games for the tier 2 subscribers. To make them feel special, alright? Misha Bechtev, double intenders, you are in the... Uh, Club, right? You just joined the simul. That's fine. Um, why are you not in the in the uh, Why not in the arena, man? Should be able to join it. Uh, Persian com commando. No, you cannot join because. Um, You know, a lot of people better make not a long event. Well, we're gonna make it a standard event. It's two hours, all right? You can you can you can play Spanish Open for two hours. Come on, man! It's it's arena. You can join. Uh, you can leave at any time. 
If you if you have to go somewhere, you can always leave. You know that's that's fine. Play for as long as you can. Again, it's not mandatory. People who want to play, they will play. It's for learning experience. Mr. Mears, you sound very impatient person, dude. I mean, patience is one of the key uh, things in chess, right? That's one of the things the chess uh, teaches people is to be patient. To grab all those minuscule advantages. Mr. Frank Vank, Shachvid, 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 please subscribe to the channel, to the Twitch uh, channel, or join my club. You need to be a Leech's patron, you need to be a titled player. Those are, uh, those are one of the three conditions. When you were young, you had patience. Okay. So, what, what, what do you mean? Usually older people, get, when you get older, you learn patience. All right. Usually, when people get older, they don't lose patience. No password. We are Gina. No password today. No passwords. Patience is a virtue. Depends. You can be too passive, also, right? In that case, it's not patience. I don't have patience. It is possible. I don't have much patience. I still have some. All right. Uh, you get password request. Uh, we are Gina. Uh, you're probably in the wrong tournament. Um, go for this tournament. All right. Click for this tournament. Because uh, probably you joined the old tournament and it didn't work. All right. So go to this tournament. And it should work. Patience and concentration, they actually come together, no? Yeah. Okay, we have more people trying to join. Mr. Persian, come and go. Good, no problem. Mr. Persian, come and do. Uh, you need to be my Twitch subscriber, or you need to be a Leech's patron, or you need to be a title player to join the club. All right. Otherwise, uh, you cannot play. This 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 event is for my um, members and my my supporters to appreciate them, right? Because I'm not Nakamura. I don't have uh, 10k subscribers on Twitch, right? This is my only source of the income, guys. All right, because there are no tournaments. It was GM Firuza childhood coach. I understand that. Hope more people will join. I'm pretty happy with the number of people we have. It's, it's fine. Again, I don't need 10k subscribers, 10k club members. You must be poor. Well, uh, I'll tell you for the Twitch uh, from from the Twitch uh, supporters from you guys, I get the income of uh, about six hundred dollars a month. That is my entire income. So um, we are living on that income in Russia, and we can, you know, survive. All right. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you guys here. Well, I'm an expert in Spanish, but uh, Brayer in a closed system, I'm not the expert in open Spanish. Chess expert, I see. Him. 
Yes, a wink near the ID name is patron member. Correct. Wings. You need wings, man. Wings to fly. You need wings for everything in life, man. If you don't have wings, how are you gonna ascend? To the new levels of experience. To improve. There is no freaking way, man. Alright. Let's see if we got some wing members. Oh, guys with the wings, right? Remember that the awesome movie about the, the British uh, skier, right? It was like uh, f flying like the eagle. My god, what was that? That was absolutely fantastic movie. I love that movie. Um... You never see me participating in online tournaments? I'm playing a lot of online tournaments. I'm playing Title Tuesdays. I'm playing Unity tournaments. I'm playing Title Leeches. But, um... But... You know, when you're older, it's not so easy to compete with the youngsters who are very fast with the mouse, right? Well... Yeah. Exactly. My Twitch subscribers are my supporters. That's why I'm doing uh, this uh, f for the supporters, guys. All is a kind of the eagle? <laughs> well, I guess. No, not, Dan not Denzel Washington. Uh, it was with the... Um... My God, uh, the coach was an American guy, um, right? Famous actor. And that coach old coach right at the end remember he came and gave him book to sign now that was a famous famous actor eddie the eagle correct guys watch this movie eddie the eagle i guarantee you you're gonna feel good all right what can we get gotta for channel points you're already getting a, a couple events a week all right are you not happy what do you need channel points for? Mr. Mieres. Is that not enough? Okay. Pasipa, Mr. Haruta Bgarian. So 12 people are playing in the tournaments. We are starting in 3 minutes. Um... Angry Dragon, SJ, Ball, there are no wings, and they don't have titles, and I don't think anybody are my Twitch subscribers. So the tournament is starting in about 3 minutes. Kamsky Ranyan Kitai, Partia Prekrasna. If you have a book, there is a book. Zenmo Chess, yes, Mark Esserman is one of my um, favorite chess streamers. We are planning to do the uh, subscriber battles um, soon. Um, Mr. Lewis, вам надо тогда купить мою книгу с партиями. Уверен, что вам понравится. Twitch Prime subscribers, uh, they can't. Mr. Andrew Dragon, you are actually my subscriber as well. So, um, are you Andrew Dragon? All right, get in the tournament, man. I see your. Yes, you are my subscriber, man. Welcome to the... Um, just join the arena, right? You guys don't have to stay for... for uh, stay for as long as you can, you know? You don't have to stay for the whole two hours. It's arena. You know? And we are starting in less than one minute. Okay. Спасибо. Автографы? Автографы будут. Uh, Angry Dragon, you're in the wrong tournament. Uh, go go to this tournament, man. There is no password. You just uh, click on it, all right? There is no password, man. Spanish today, right? I have coached a few people, but I don't think it's for me. Uh, so, Mr. Angry Dragon, there is no password. It asks for a password, but there is no password. So, don't worry about it. All right, and we're starting in less than one minute. Any people that are new here? 
Hmm. Yeah, we're missing a lot of people today, actually. Mr. Digano. Uh... What time playing with Mark Kesselman? Uh, well, soon. We don't know yet. We have to work our schedules, man. All right. So starting in 20 seconds. It's 3-1. Oh, time control? I don't know. We'll have to discuss it. The arena is 3-1, but he's asking about the um, the sub sub battle. So remember, open Spanish line, guys, remember? Brave Radiation, no, it's not the best. Marshall is the best. Marshall equalizes. All right. Castles, 94. Yes, Mr. Rudy Q. There is no open Spanish uh, starting position, all right? So we have to start with this uh, basic Spanish. But it's it's good for you to learn the moves, how to arrive there, all right? It's good. So Welcome. Okay. So castles Yeah, I like this bishop e3 system myself. It's pretty, pretty good thing. All right, but I was always confused about this line, so let's see. There is no set open Ryu position. So you have to play. Okay. What are the advantages of playing open versus closed Spanish? Uh, open Spanish is a lot of memory. If you have good memory, it's, uh, it's good for you. V3, okay. Hmm. Well, I'll probably bring the knight back, right? I haven't played this in years, guys, so I don't know. Uh, also, open Ryu is... Um, there is no refutation, actually. White is better in some lines, but I think it's pretty much equal. If you know your stuff, it's equal, okay? But you gotta know your stuff. Hmm. The first time actually I faced it was uh, when Magnus played it against me in uh, Olympiad in Turin in the last round. In the. Uh, yeah. We kicked the Norway's ass 3 to 1 and we got the bronze medal. Alright, so that was good. Good memory for me. Okay. That was 2006. He was just a little kid. Um, we're using leechess over chess.com. I don't know. You should uh, you should basically try both and see what works for you, man. Oh, actually, I should have played bishop f5. My God, I forgot. Christ. If you if you allow to play bishop f5 and trade the Spanish bishop, you should do it. Uh, why do people like David Anton and Vitigov keep playing this bishop seven like the composite like instead of the old knight c5 line? Well, because they are very good theoreticians and they probably know something. Chess.com is garbage, too laggy. Woo woo, some strong opinions there, dude. Some very strong opinions. Taking away the g5 square. 
My wife had an absolutely amazing game against Karina Barsumova in one of the um, uh, Grand K Open tournaments. My god. Честно, плюс думать в время партии рейтинга, насколько вреда и пользу при раздумии рейтинга. Насчет рейтинга нельзя думать. Если вы думаете о рейтинге, вам вы не на неправильном месте. Вы играете в шахматы, чтобы усилиться в первую очередь. Усовершенствовать свой левел игры, а не рейтинги. Uh, there is a better pre-move and puzzle rush. Uh, again, both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, So, knight d4, knight d4, d4, bishop c5, and... Really? And if I play bishop c5... Oh, you have queen e4? Oh, you're so tricky, man. So very tactical. Alright, I'll play this. Ooh, I think I'm getting a hang of it. Yeah, I think black is fine now. Black is better, slightly. See the the problem with the with the with the white setup is that um, there's an actual very acute danger of white falling into inferior position if he doesn't do things correctly in this uh, open Spanish, right? Like this position is already much. I, I'm not sure if it is much better, but it's definitely better for black. It is definitely better for black. Queen d7, rook c1, I guess. Um, rook c1, you want to play anyway. Maybe. Let's just g5. Just g5. And go for this. Naturlich position. Okay. Hmm. Why not rook takes g3? Um, what? What rook g3? You could have taken the queen. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't see everything, guys. You know, I, I was watching the chat also, and I'm playing chess. You know, it's not so easy <laughs> to stay focused. All right, I see some line with bishop c2, f5, knight b3, right? One of the main lines, actually. Вау. Почему именно испанку выбрали? Потому что давно не играли и хороший дебют. И очень много людей играют d4. A lot of people are playing d4, so I need to expose uh, these people to, to the positions in the e4. Alright. So this is a learning experience, guys. Uh, hopefully, you know, you get to learn new positions. Alright. Why everybody takes on c6? Because they don't know what Spanish Open is. Lots of non-open games going on. <laughs> yeah, guys, please uh, go for this open Spanish. I understand you don't, you've never played e4 in your life, but please try to. Uh, but please try to follow. Why don't you beat Stockfish every time? Cloud sets, c3, what is a c3? My god, I haven't, uh, 
Christ, c3. All right, bishop e7 still, right? Yeah, c3, yeah. you mostly play e4. Good for you. And t4, right? That's one of the main lines, I think. And there is this absolutely crazy line with knight b3. Absolutely crazy line with knight b3, d3, remember? And then there is like unbelievable stuff going on there. Right. So I think d3 is the main line. And I want to see... Why can I just take this pawn, for example? Is there a good reason for that? Why is this not popular? Because I know d3 bishop b1 is the main line, right? But what about dc3? Uh, okay. Queen d1. Oh, okay, I see bishop b4 is coming. Now I understand, okay. Thank you for enlightening me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for enlightening me. Okay, bishop e4. Game over, yeah. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Okay. Can I survive this uh, somehow? Uh, well, I don't see. All right, let's let's see it. Um, let's see if I can survive this. E4, queen h5, c car special. I play e4, queen c, bishop c4, queen f3. Works like a charm against 1300s. Open Spanish, not d4 and bishop f4. <laughs> d4 and bishop f4 is London system, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. A lot of education in this club, I guess. Can't stand the psychological pressure of the queen of three. Actually, yesterday, uh, there was this guy on Lee Chess, right? He was playing e4, queen h5, bishop c4 against me in two games. And uh, actually, that queen f3, knight e2 is like, you know, it's actually playable for white, okay? It's not like black must win because white just plays queen h5. Black equalizes, right? But white has a good game anyway. Dobry wieczór. Kasparov Anand. Bishop c5 and second f2. Yes, I heard about that. Um, I heard about that. I heard about that match game. Yes. We all remember those beautiful games by Kasparov, which was, of course, preparation. Right? Gary was famous for his preparation. That's why he was very... Queen h5 is more playable than the bonk clouds. Castling long side, Mr. Persian commando? You really think I would go for something crazy like that? I think you are probably... I don't know which... Who, I, I don't even know which one of us is crazier. Yours for, for suggesting long castle or me for getting into this mess in the first place? Okay, uh, all right, h6. I would say the bishop d5 followed by c6 was probably the safest choice. But I don't know, I think black is worse, but he is not lost, all right? Black is definitely worse here, I agree. But is he lost, right? It's like, remember that Bruce Lee uh, was asking um, questions. Like, people were always contesting him, right? Because he, he had this reputation, which was which must be incredibly frustrating, you know, to try to defend all that stuff uh, for many, many years, right? So, um, uh, Bishop h4 trying to keep an eye on this uh, location. But you give me the g5 move, right? And this position, g5, is the least of evil because I can run with my... Oh, you just sack the stuff. My god. Ooh. We have some sacrifices on. Hmm. Alright, so probably just c6. 
because I need to get to d5. And finally, we can play bishop d5, right? And close this line, d line. Почему любить играть лондонскую систему? А почему я не должен ее любить? Она мне... Лондонская система мне принесла столько очков, ребята. You know, whenever you play the opening, and that opening gives you a lot of points. You know what that's called? That's called the cash cow, right? That is called the cash cow opening. Well, Gary could say a lot of things, which means that you basically don't trust anything he says, all right? I mean, he was famous for for, for saying a lot of uh, really wild things, let's put it that way. Okay. I have some more people here, but... Whoa, actually, first time I'm playing with white. Alright, so I'm gonna try to go for this line, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, actually, myself, I play queen e2. Uh, queen e2, I think, is, uh, like, very safe choice for whites, alright? Because of this plan, with c4. You immediately break down this lock on the black pawns, you open the line, the files, and uh, there's huge theory, but I think white has a very safe, uh, safe position here. All right. Subscribed. Um, who subscribed? Move eleven subscribed. Thank you so much, man. I don't care about Gary losing uh, the match to the IBM. Do you know how much money he made on that? He made a ton of money on that match. Uh, if I take... Alright, let's take this. Then knight c3, right? Knight b4. What is this position? Probably should... Um, grab this, right? And what is this position? 94 is a standard, I believe. 94 is queen d7, e6, fe6, queen e6, queen e6, 96, rook f5, uh, or rook f6, actually. Black is fine, yeah. Black seems to be fine. All right, the h4 seems natural, right? Preparing uh, for g5, but in reality, I'm making a loft. Right, because if queen e4, for example, black can play knight c3, right, and use the this to his advantage. Oh, c6, okay. So trading these bishops should be okay for white. Because potentially our knight can go to d6, or maybe not. Or maybe not. Right. Weaknesses. Gotta be weak, man. Probably weak, but how? How to use that? I don't want to give you this pawn. Uh, Borjas on three counters from two six game chess matches. Maybe. Main line was somehow black and avoid c4 by white. I think c4 is main line. Castle c4 takes takes and bishop c5, I think. Um, I don't know. Uh, you're supposed to analyze, man. I'm not doing the analysis. I'm, I'm just pushing you in the direction of the analysis, okay? I'm pushing you guys to investigate on your own.
So we're basically playing thematic tournaments so you can expand your horizons. All right. Uh, 94, c5, queen d5, um, rook d8. What is that? Knight c6, rook d5, knight b4, rook d1, rook d1, cb4. Probably equal. Probably equal. On the other hand, all right, let's play queen c2 then, but then uh, queen g4, but then queen c6, right? Queen c6, knight b4, queen c3. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. Thank you for following. Kasparov or Fischer? Fischer, of course, more likes. Kasparov. This is almost a complete preparation, in which he just won everything in life. Fischer also prepared, but Bobby was. I don't know. I like Bobby more. So let's see, what is that prep against this move? So if I grab this pawn. Oh, um, my God. My God, I missed that. Uh, Okay, queen b7, right? For some reason I thought queen c3, rook c8. And then I thought queen e3, but then knight c2, of course. And now I'm thinking rook t4 here. This looks kind of funny, but this just might work. Yeah, black is very solid. Yeah, because I have... Crazy pawns. Активно у короля вперед. Part of shot check, no Fisher or shot check. Caravan likes to play it. Good recommendation. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of preparation here. Mr. Vlad just uh, blundered the pawn on d5. You, you, you must play bishop e6. Vlad, instead of bishop c5, bishop e6 first, man. Come on. Yes, there are huge lines in the open Spanish which are beautiful, guys. Queen sack, queen sacks, beautiful attacks. This is very interesting line. Что нужно для участия в наших турнирах? Надо стать моим подписчиком или быть title player, чтобы пойти в клуб. All right, you need to be in the club. Okay, Mr. Jano, what the heck was a five? I think you misplayed it. All right, let's see. Who else is in the club? Who wants to be in the club? This is the gentleman's club, basically. I don't think we have any women here. Hmm. Fried liver attack. You don't know these lines, then you should learn, right? 
I mean, that's the whole reason we um, we announced the openings in advance. So you guys can look up some games, look up some lines and test them out. All right. Do some research. I mean, imagine like it, it was like a little bit of homework. I'm not asking you guys to do a lot of homework, just a little bit of homework. OK. Just a little bit of homework, almost like in high school. Yeah, bishop c5 is like old, old line. All right. I want to test why this move is not that great. Yeah, let's test this move. Favorite line was black against the Spanish. Well, I had some pretty crazy games in the Marshall Gambit. If you check out my first game of the match against Vichy Anand in uh, Sangi Nagar uh, 1994 match, uh, that was uh, that was probably the craziest uh, draw in my life. All right. Uh, you've lost me when you started talking about the chromosomes. What about the chromosomes? What if bishop c6? Is queen f6 after castle the best or better to play something else? Um, uh, okay, I, I cannot tell you right now. I need to see the board, man. Or oh, give me the full line. Give me the full line, man. Then I then we can talk. Yeah, sometimes this knight on e4 he's taboo, right? Because you can't just grab him. I don't I don't I don't think this knight on b6 is really that good. Probably should have played knight a5, knight c6, and sort of keep a pressure on that e5 pawn, right? Bishop b2, wow. Ah, uh, the things we do. So we can play chess, right? F5 now looks good. Yeah, that's the thing about the open Spanish is that the black gets a lot of activity, by the way. A lot of activity for his pieces. You guys see he has a fine development, right? E45... Um, a6, bishop, b6, dc, castles, queen f6. Queen f6, there is a line, yes. Uh, it's actually... I mean, a lot of top players play it, right? So, black plays b4 here. Queen e1. Alright, then bishop, uh, let's say... g4. Uh, yeah, that queen f6 line, uh, queen d6 line used to be my favorite. Okay, I think I managed to blunder successfully something here. Okay. Alright, so I gotta grab this, but then rook e6. And bishop g4. That looks fine. d4, queen e4, bishop f3 also looks interesting, right? But... Yeah, but I suspect my king will be too open. All right, so let's grab this. Oh, one second, my wife came home. One, one second, guys.
All right. My supporter has arrived. You guys be careful now. Um Okay, queen e2, bishop e7, uh, that's why I think black plays bishop c5 instead of bishop e7 line. Yeah, okay. Ooh, rook a2, my god. Actually, I'm helping your bishop to get to d3, right? That was not a good move. Happy Monday, guys. На турнир легенд, конечно, не прислали. У меня с Магнусом биф, как говорят ребята. По поводу продажи итемов с названием FFL. Они мне ни цента не платят за то. А должны были. All right, let's see again this line. Yes, the end game. The end games are learned from the studies. True. Okay, knight a5 here. Probably knight d4. Is there a good compilation of studies? There are many books. Troitsky, Kubel, Kasparian, just to name a few. And of course, there is the very hard um, book by John Nunn, 250 selected endgame studies. These are for very strong players, right? If you manage to get your hands on that book, I highly recommend it. I was uh, taking this book with me to the tournaments for years, right? Uh, trying to solve some of those studies. So those are very hard. The feeling when Gary resigned the game? Come on, guys. You don't have to ask me, right? What is the feeling when you beat the world champion?
write an essay right that's what they would say in high school write an essay how would you feel how do you feel remember that enter the dragon movie and um, Bruce is teaching this kid right and then he asks, like how does it feel and then the guy says I think then he slaps him and then he says like don't think feel <laughs> That was so funny. That was so funny. Мистер uh, Любис, они меня никогда не поддерживали. Я всегда был русский для них. Ну, вы же понимаете. Американцы особенно... Они очень не любят русских, на самом деле. Возможно, только тех, которые ругают Россию. Не будем тыкать пальцами у людей. Вот. So when I was the world, the the U.S. champion, first uh, they supported Naka, right? Even though I was a candidate, you know, I had the candidates in 2011, right? The only support I got uh, uh, was. Uh, was from the UCF uh, board members. That's the only kind of support. Basically, Bill Hall was walking around the closing ceremony and asking people to support me in my um, tournament and the candidates, right? They managed to gather about uh, $1,200 for the candidates. I mean, That's how much I was supported. Okay. Yeah, I played Judith many times. Arabal helped me very much. Arabal helped me very, very much. I have great, great, I'm very grateful for his support. Well, a lot of in the early times when there was this uh, thing, right? When sinkholes were just, you know, building the chess capital. Vlad, you're playing this wrong, man. All right, you're not playing Spanish, yeah? All right, fine. We don't play open Spanish. Who was supporting me? My loved ones. Those were the only ones. Yeah, family is your, you know, that's why family is important because they will protect you and support you. Doesn't matter. Good times, bad times. So. You know, some, some people have been known to play G4 here. 
some people have been known to play g4 in such positions. Yep, exactly. Exactly. That's how you put that rook a1 into play, right? By playing a4 and after trade that rook is ready to join the game. So that basically is the secret to why white can leave the bishops on c2 and c1 and still be considered to, to be developed, especially after this trade. Simply because of that. Because see, now rook is on the, on, the, on the open file without making a single move. So it is uh, good. By Simba Sonshka, man. I played many games against Karpov, a lot of them were very amazing. Rook A5 was more accurate than Queen E2. When he had an attack against the king but played on the queen side. Mr. Yehia missed. That's the game against Gary Kasparov who you're talking about. Zogzwank. Has subscribed to tier one. Thank you so much, sir. All right, there is no need to. To panic, just play knight h4. This is why it's called Spanish torture because uh, White has all the time in the world to improve his pieces, and Black basically has to suffer and learn how to maneuver well. In case you're wondering, this is chocolate, but it got, I don't know, heated something. No, G6, come on, man. Making it too easy. <clears throat> I 
how does age affect performance? Hugely. Chess is a sport. Sport is a, I mean, it's not only sport, but chess, but sport factor is huge in chess. Especially with the time controls getting short. You need to think fast and play fast. And whenever speed is involved, youth has a huge advantage. The only time, the only reason why old timers can compete is because, like Anand, is because they prepare far in advance. They take their preparation is is on the completely another level. That is the only reason how old timers can compete now. But if you look at the top uh, ten list, uh, there are not many old timers left. Andromeda, what's up, man? Nakamura's beyond his prime already? I disagree. He is in his prime. Age is about just calculation speed difference. Well... Mostly, yes. In chess. Right, okay, so that's... Right, alright, so I'm gonna show you this line to you guys. I think it's bishop c5. Oh, bishop e3 immediately. Alright, take, take. Hmm... Mm. How the hell does it run? It's knight a5 here. No, oh, he wants to play rook d1, right? So. I think knight a5, yeah. When you're young, you don't have to worry about girls and taxes. My god. Nakamura, he's in his early 30s. He's, he has not even reached his prime yet, man. Come on, what are you talking about? He has not even reached his prime yet. The structure is extremely interesting. Extremely interesting. I don't know. Um, Alright, let yeah, but then you get the square, right? Then you do get that square. That's what I want to avoid. Hmm. Can I just play queen e7 maybe? Go for the rook d8. Yeah, I probably just shoot castle instead of doing all this crazy, sh crazy stuff. I was about to say crazy shit, but then I realized I should mind my language. Mm. 
Neiman is not even a GM. Adams. Yes, Firuza, of course, that's who that's what everybody is talking about. The rising star of Iranian chess. Wait, no longer of Iranian. He is a French citizen, I believe, right? So that guy is a French dude now. So you gotta you gotta you gotta treat him like a French dude. So what is this position? What is this position? I don't know, castling queen side looks wrong. Looks wrong. Yeah, I think my position is not good. Not good. Yeah, good good positional sack, man. I like the sack. I like your sacrifice. My god, what's with the music? Sounds so epic. Ray Robson? What about Ray Robson? Ray Robson was a huge talent. And then... He stopped being a huge talent one day. And White has misplayed somewhere. Because he is no longer winning, I think. I think Black is fine here. I mean, advantage White, of course, but... Uh... Yeah, you should definitely play on in this position. If you're White. Like that. That's what I was talking about. There are a lot of talented guys when they're young, but then, uh, you know, you don't win stuff, you don't study, you don't get chances, and you're past your prime. There's another younger kid on the block who is more talented than you. Also, there are a lot of, a lot of cases where people who have no talent but they have been pushed to play all the top tournaments, right? All the time. Then just by being there for many years, you become good, after all. Just by practice. Things like that also happen. Chess is brutal, that is correct. Rule tournament for you? Well, the, consider it as a practice tournament, all right? Again, Prodigy is good, but you need to, you know, keep keep working on it to become the great, right? Please no name calling in this channel. Mr. Bob, that is uncalled for. This is the friendly thematic tournament for practice. Okay. Who is currently the best US player? It's a toss between Nakamura and Karana. That is a toss. 
Wesley is close. They're all very close to each other. But um, Fabiano and Nakamura are more experienced. But Wesley has to step up because he is uh, he is getting older. He is getting older. Yeah, you need to play d4, man, but it's okay, rookie one. Because uh, this is nothing for white. This line is nothing for white. Shankland and Neroditsky. Both were great prodigies. Both. Um, I must say that... Um, there were huge hopes on Naroditsky. And Shankland, of course, um, is a hard, hard worker, right? So compared to the Berlin, the knight were knight on the five, the knight on the six is just perfect. Alright, black has perfect position. The knight always belongs as a blockader. Yes, but I was talking about the past, right? When they were considered prodigies, huge talents, potentials. Uh, but then time passed, and uh, what happens to them is that a lot of Americans, they display this potential, but then, you know, when college starts, you know, a lot of parents push them to go into college. Okay? And if you go to college, you can forget about competitive chess because... Simply because you need those 16, 17, 18, 19 years to improve your chess. You need to play as much as much as possible in the top tournaments all the time. Improve, get better, and that is your only ticket. That is only the only way to become good. Alright, so what's going on? Trade one pair of rooks. All right, I'm misplaying this. Should probably just go for standard a5, a4. H4, why? Why give me a pawn? You are in the pawn grabber club, sir. We take pawns, we don't give pawns. Alright. Жаль, что местные помощи Ульяне Шагаты не пригласили. Ну и слава богу, извините меня. Я сейчас не очень люблю Магнуса. Yes, but again, if you go to college, then you pretty much say goodbye to your chess career. Strong I am, so with no practice. Correct. Correct. Probably, but um, to me, it was no-brainer decision. Absolutely hated chess, especially with my dad. I couldn't stand it anymore. I was so happy when I finally quit chess. But my dad, he was living for glory, right? He was always in the news. He was always the one who is talking. Always talking. I was always the silent one. He really loved to be in the spotlight. So he was really upset that I quit chess and he tried to get me back after one year, but I said no. Because, you know, I was living a quiet life. I had some time for my own. Whenever I was in college, those uh, five, six hours were mine. And then it's back to the boot camp. Хаос на чем не нравится? 
Карлсон. Я уже рассказывал, с чем у меня проблема с Карлсоном. Проблема очень простая. Они используют майки с моим слоганом. И куча продуктов. И мне не платят ни гроша с этого. Несмотря на то, что кто это сделал. Создал вот этот слоган, да? Можно сказать, я им все это сделал. Right, this is the famous line, guys. Bishop c5, bishop e3, bishop e3, queen e3, queen b8, attacking the pawn, bishop b3, queen b6. Most things are forced by the parents, but not by that much. У них миллионы долларов и сильные адвокаты. Какой суд? О чем вы говорите? Я... Нам прожить бы на 600 долларов в месяц, которые мы получаем с, с наших саппортеров с Твича. Are they Latin American players with potential? Um... They always been great Latin American players. Always. We don't have to go back uh, that much. I mean, Macking was one of the greatest, perhaps. But then, of course, we have. Um, I don't. I don't know if you can call uh, Cuba is Latin America. That's the crazy question. Yeah. I think technically it is. But of course, Cubans are very strong. Always, huge, like. Lazaro Bruzon, Linier Dominguez, right? You know those you know those names, right? Huge. Very strong Cuban school. Думаю, я миллионер, какой я миллионер? I learned the Kirill alphabet two years ago before I went to Moscow and St. Petersburg. Hmm. My mother, she is in St. Petersburg. Did she push it on? My mother is a saint. I finally get to know her in the last uh, few years while I was here in Russia. Because she divorced my father when I was less than one years old. All right. She told me later that she was always felt guilty about leaving me with him because um, you know, he's crazy. My dad is absolutely crazy. Okay. Basically, you know, whenever you realize you have to survive, you do a lot of things to survive, right? And the important thing is to actually survive, which I did. That's all I care about. Yeah. Um, Lanier is American. Okay, he is a Cuban American. He is a Cuban American, guys. And he is an incredible hard worker. I think I told you guys a story about Lanier. We were flying with him together to the uh, Sport Accord tournament in uh, China. I mean, we were flying on the same plane. All right. Oh, pfft, okay to check my God. My God. Hmm. Whoa, going from completely winning to... Jesus Christ. Look at this position, how I spoiled it. How the hell I spoiled this position? Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're flying to the same tournament and the guy laughed so much as he was playing on the plane, on the aeroplane computer, right? You punch those entertainment buttons. I was like, my god, dedication, man. Um, все деньги шли всегда моему отцу. Он всегда контролировал все деньги, мне ничего не давалось. Mm -hmm. Никогда ничего не давалось. Только на учебу он мне оплачивал, но мне никаких на руки ничего не давалось. Все, все, что я заработал, все считалось семейным бюджетом. И у меня никогда не было никакого контроля над этим. Oh, Leon Beast, hi, man. Glad for you to join us later. Ah. Where do I like more? Um, you know, it's not about where do you like more, it's about who you're with, right? I mean, I married my wife, she is a Russian citizen, and I moved to Russia. No complaints. I'm absolutely happy about my choice. That's it. You have any jobs besides chess, like office job? Well, chess is actually a job. Yeah, I still play some tournaments, I still play some clubs, but this COVID hit us, hit us very hard, right? I was, play, I was supposed to play in some Bundesliga events, but then this COVID happened and uh, no more Bundesliga. I'm still a top 100 player in the world, so I still get invites and um, as a top 100 level player, you pretty much can get invited to play for some clubs, all right? And, um, and a lot of people who are in the 2600, that's how they make living. They play for the clubs, they play leagues, right? That's how they make money. Chess is a job. Aren't you moving to Germany? I, I wish we could move to Germany, but because of the COVID, the European Union, they don't accept anybody. And if you guys uh, uh, heard uh, the latest news, the Americas are the least desired people right now because of the huge uh, population uh, infection percentage. Come on, guys, right? Um... All right, I mean the EU, they uh, only allow the uh, the travel, non-essential travel uh, to the guys in the European Union. Uh, the Russia and the USA are not allowed to, to, to go to the European Union, period. So no more, nobody moves anywhere. And USA is like infection if you look at the infection map, like how many people are infected, oh my god, that's such a huge disaster. That's so, so bad. Hi, Nicola, thank you for your cheering. Thank you for your donation. You're living in Europe. Yes, you, you should be very happy <laughs> that you're living in Europe, man. I'm happy for you. Yeah. But then, of course... Um, there's always, of course, right? There's always that nonsense about the Nostradamus prophecies, right? In Europe, it's getting worse day by day. And that's not what I heard. I heard that Europe is fine. They're relaxing all the measures and stuff. Is that just, uh, just bullshit? My God. Are they lying, bastards?
We are wearing our masks like chumps. Germany is fine. Spain is fine. Well, I heard that the European Union is completely fine now. Yeah, every, everybody is fine. The European Union is fine. Scandinavia is fine too. Yes. That's what I heard. Okay. Probably Bush before was winning much faster, but okay. Lithuania is fine as well. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, basically everybody is fine. Except... Uh, and then, of course, there's talk about the second wave, right? Anybody knows anything about the second wave? Because they're scaring uh, people with second wave, right? In Romania? Really? Wow. But okay, I was in Romania a couple times. Once uh, in the junior championship in Timisoara in 88, back when, back when I was dictator. Yeah, we were seeing soldiers on every corner street. And the second time, many, many years later, when I got invited to the tournament in 2009, it was a invited players only tournament. We played in a beautiful but countryside my god countryside i absolutely can't stand countrysides that was my worst tournament ever because it was so depressing there was no city nothing no food uh, i mean no shops no no entertainment so i basically i was playing um, command and conquer tiberian wars right that's what i was doing no preparation I lost four games in that tournament, four draws. I lost uh, 30 rating points. Nakamura took me, uh, overtook me on the uh, rating list, the number one American. But I just couldn't couldn't get myself to play chess or to prepare because um, I was so depressed there. Tiberian Wars, my favorite game. That acting, remember? That actor, the huge Kane, right? With the mask, right? And then he is calling everybody my son. Oh my god. Then that, that, that was uh, fantastic stuff, to be honest. I love the game. Building those units to gold star le level, so they automatically re regenerate, right? CNC Red Alert. You don't like uh, Tiberium Wars? Alright, play, some, play something else. 92 hmm. Any tournaments in Poland? Sure, I played in the uh, Night of uh, Memorial in Poland Because not everybody knows but Night of is actually a Polish dude before he came to Argentina Right? He was a Polish dude that's with him. And also, Polish are like fantastic people. Um, I'm looking at this uh, Polish streamer. Uh, his name is Alan uh, on uh, stream. I'm learning a lot from his streams. Uh, it's about... Um, he's streaming a lot about the games, right? That I love. Um, probably grab this. So he is... Um, I taught... Um, I learned from him a lot from about Legends, Runeterra. And then I was also learning um, other stuff. Yeah, and he's Polish. All right, so that was like, wow. And then he said that like uh, a lot of other guys on his team, he is like basically a liquid team. It's like famous um, a Dota team. They used to be. So he's like really popular. Um, Neither in Warsaw, yes. 
Do I know any Lithuanian players? Um, Akiba Rubinstein was also Polish. Okay, good. Okay. Ryshevsky and Tartakover. Yes, okay. Good points, guys. Good points. All right, let's uh, let's let's put something here. The knight belongs in the center, right? We know that. The knight belongs in the center. Of course, the question is: if he takes on d4, should I take with the pawn or a queen? Probably take with the pawn, right? CNC Renegade. Что вы думаете, Валерий Сал знаком ли его с полицейской? Ну, это очень провокационный вопрос. Я Валерий Русалов знаю, но я не хочу дискуссировать его. Он мне напоминает Бобби Фишера в этом смысле. Гениальный шахматист, на самом деле. Тоже из Питера. Так что... Yeah, I don't like this knight on b3. Let's just play f4. Go for it. Pawn for sure to control e5, but I'm not sure because, um, you know, ideally you want your pawn on c3 on b4 and then you put a piece on d4 because uh, with the pawns on a3, b4, c3, they control black five pawns. All right. That is the ideal thing. Okay, what is this? Um, ah, you don't have that move. Ah, but you can do this. Okay. Mm. Sorry, I got something in my... Mm. It's not mine. Mm. Alright, but I still can play a 5, yeah? У меня была штуковина. Ну, просто я сейчас на стриме, я не могу. Не могу поковыряться. Юрий Зевенч. Я не знаю, я очень люблю Тибериан войны. I thought those were great. Really spent hours and hours replaying those games. All right, um, just put the knight here. Double. Some point this will become winning. Hmm. Rook h1 first, of course. All right. Was Capablanca the most naturally talented player in the past? Maybe. But uh, again, there are a lot of uh, naturally talented players, like Morphe, right? We can argue that Morphe was also uh, and he was before Capablanca. He was also, I think, Morphe in my in my in my mind, Morphe was even more talented. Naturally, and again, natural talent talent can be a lot of things. All right, so Queen D6 was my favorite move before all this uh, Queen F6 stuff. Queen D6 was pretty much the standard. Oh, all right. Um, I'm. Whoa. Okay. Uh, how the hell do I play this line? My god. I think rook e8. Then there was something about um, c5 maybe. Bishop b4 also looks interesting. Wow. 
the best pawn grabber alive. Bring me that pawn. Morphe. А, я серьезно, да? Ну, окей. Просто найдите хорошего зубного врача и все. Вот. Окей, okay. extra piece. I mean, it is an argument that my king side is underdeveloped, but it will not always be underdeveloped. At some point it will be developed. Okay. We'll be making all decisions regarding Morphe. Wow, you're the biggest expert on Morphe? Status ni radis, da? You know what they're saying? When you're 40 and uh, nothing troubles you physically, you're not in pain some sort of then uh, something is wrong with you they say that if you're in 20s or in the teens right then you should be ruled by your heart and your brain but if you're ruled by your hand and the brain when you're 30 then you're a fool right so different age group you're supposed to be doing different things like in russia there is a saying like in 20s it's about vodka lotka and molotka да. In the 30s it's about uh, что-то там было другое. And in the 40s, там 50s it's трактир, трактир, коллектир. So it's a different age group means different things. Ah. Alright, my wife just said that uh, Dalai Lama said uh, something about that as well. Can somebody translate? Well, basically it says in the 20s you should be worried about the girls, alcohol and rock and roll. Right? But in the 30s you should be doing um, more important things, but in the 40s and 50s you know, it's like mature stuff. All right? No, жена мне ангел, да. Спасибо. Тьфу, 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 чтобы не испортить, не перехвалить. I'll decide who translates. Mr. Bozo the Clown, you're getting too much into your role. I mean... Okay. You played many of the best games I have seen. The Candidates 94? Um, yes, actually, yes, but again, in the 90s, I had uh, a group of people helping me. That was uh, always, it's always important not to forget that I was helped by some amazing guys there, okay? Alexander Shabalov, Jinji Hashvili. We were looking at the opening, a lot of opening lines together. Like that game against Short uh, that I won um, in Linaris match, the first game of the match in the PCA candidates, right? That was all because of the prep. I mean, I was, uh, you know, my huge talent was augmented by uh, Jinji's uh, engine uh, mastery, right? And uh, Shabala's creativity. So it was a wonderful, perfect team. And then we also joined by John Fedorowicz. John, uh, John Fedorowicz. Let's not forget who John Fedorowicz was. He was one of the best 
American players of his time, right? Jen, я не знаю, с ним давно не общался. So John Fedorowitz, he was a winner of the New York Open in 1989. He was one of the most talented uh, American players. Uh, he played that tournament. He was that was an amazing tournament. He probably played the tournament of his life then. That was bloody unbelievable what he did. Um, Shabalov is famous for his sharp style. Correct. We had some amazing games uh, together. No, it was a classic, да? Конь g5, филя 6, конь e6. Так. A6 was an important move to break the structure. You guys, uh, if you're staying with me in with me, if you stayed with me for the past several months, right, in my streams, I always stressed how important the structure is. It's like building your backbone, building your uh, I don't know a bone structure, right? The bones are your bone structure. The pieces are your muscles and your uh, you know tissue right so it's like a, your body you have to you know develop your body right develop your bones develop your structure develop your lines and know how to transition right know when to run when to sleep etc etc like you know chess is like a, is a you know they often say chess is uh, correlates to life a lot and it is very true all right it also correlates to a lot of things in your body all right, look at this game. Uh, Ilya playing Mainke. This is the very, very old system in the Spanish open line. All right, this is... I don't think 93 is the main line, though, but uh, I'll, I'll be curious. Yeah, but I don't I don't think it is. Uh, there are some, a lot of forced lines where Black just makes a draw with his only moves, but um, it does happen. You have a French bone structure. Oh, my God. Um... <laughs> uh, Bozo the clown. Following since April first, previously stopped for one month. Well, Bozo, if you want to be, if you want to be, um, like a spoiler for the chats, you know, we are adults here. We understand. But uh, wouldn't it be nicer that if you, you know, do, did something constructive and positive for the for the people? That would be better, don't you think? I mean, we already have enough negativity in our lives. Why add more? Right? We're coming here. People are coming to the channel to learn, to discuss, right? To, to be mature. There are a lot of other channels where you can pour that um, negativity that is built up inside. 92. Yeah, okay. Right, there is this, there is this line. Yeah, that, that's also a pretty famous line. Alright, so let's see. Can I just take on D2 maybe? Ah, now my pawn is in danger. Mm. Alright, now I understand. Okay. Um... And if I do this, 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 yeah, then it's just better for white, yeah. All right, so bishop 3 knight d2, interesting. Uh, I think the computer plays knight c5 against that, actually. And then I remember I was looking at this line, and then bishop c5, bishop c5, and then play this position, but um, I wasn't sure. Okay, queen d7.
Queen is your heart and king is your head. <laughs> Ex chess experts. I like that analogy. Well, Gary, of course, was more, much more difficult to beat than anybody else. Why? I'll, 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 I'll just say it again and again and again. Because of his fearsome home prep. That is how he was great. That because he had the huge advantage compared to everybody else. He had access to the computers, guys. Come on. You know this. Gary had access to the computers and he had all that prep. Ooh, F6, nice. And what is that? Whoa, sacrifice. Some inspired chess. I like inspiring chess. All right, I think black is fine here, to be honest. To be absolutely honest, I think black is better. I could be wrong. No, my wife is not playing piano. It is the background music, which is um, often in a lot of streamers. They play the background music. This kind of music is uh, soothes my soul. So when I get angry or upset uh, listening to the music, I've been actually always a very musical person. I love music. I played piano when I was a kid. So I think music is great. And it has a lot of therapeutic uh, qualities. All right. Jan Timon. Спасибо, мистер Льюис. 50 евро два тома. Окей, да, это правда. Дорого, ну что делать? Зато книжки массивные. Мистер Льюис, у меня уже есть YouTube канал. Я еще, да, я играю в игры, но к сожалению. Um, я не настолько хорош в них, что я в них играю, чтобы отдохнуть от шахмат. Окей, okay. я не такой профессионал в эти игры играть. Uh, there is any super gem that has access to Google's Alpha Zero for preparation? I'm pretty sure there are a few. If you guys know, uh, I heard about this uh, actually quite a long time ago, but um, it may be still active like alexander anishuk right he is the head of the um, chess department in his uh, university and i know that alex has access to the supercomputer as part of the research team in that university right and that means that means if he has access then a lot of americans have access to the supercomputer university supercomputers all right Ну, это понятно, что киберспорт так популярный, да? It almost sounds insulting. What? What does sound almost insulting, Mr. Perrier the King? Please uh, expand on that statement. Bella Davidich, wonderful pianist. I am not uh, very good with the piano, guys. Come on. Uh, I, I played piano when I was a kid, but I stopped long time ago. I don't even know how to read notes. I don't follow the pianists. I, I have no idea. However, the pianist, the movie. You guys seen that movie, right? You, you got it. You got to have seen that movie. Everybody has seen it. Even I have seen that movie. That was a fantastic movie. That was a wonderful movie, guys. That was a wonderful, wonderful movie. My God, where is this king going? Nice night for a walk, right? Jesus Christ. 
Look at this king on h5, my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Party on with the king, right? Nothing moves except the bishop. Right, okay. But now, absolutely nothing moves. Okay. Um, we have six players in the tournament, sir. So, uh, it it will be over in twenty five minutes, guys. The tournament will be over in twenty five minutes. Few words about Jan Timon, like my games against him. Yes, Jan Timon is unique. Jan Timon was this incredible person. But I think, yeah, he was actually very good friends with the, but he was before my time. So if you want to ask Jan Timon, ask Yasser Seravan, who knows him much better. Right, and of course, uh, Jan Timon was a great friends with the um, Ulf Anderson, right? But these are older generation guys. These are all the guys. Um, Alright, so let's try it again. Bishop e3. You'll play Samuel to improve your score. The king castle on h5. Alright. Yeah. So again, what can I say about guys like him? I don't know him that well. I know Yasser a little bit because he is American and we had a training session in uh, Amsterdam quite some time ago. Yasser was the great, uh, great dude. I really like him. Okay, and I think, I think knight d7 is played here or something. Ah, wait, not not knight d7, right? Um, I don't know, maybe just queen d7. Hmm. So six people in the tournaments. Team has a lot of legendary stories. I think. I think one of the most um, uh, the best stories you want to hear about Timon is that um, there was this girl. It always starts with a girl, right? Always it goes. Uh, it always starts with a girl. When there are women involved, and Jan Timon was um, a lady, ladies' man. Let's be honest about that. Yes. So, Amaika Krushka is Russia. идет посылка. Не знаю. Вроде должна идти какая-то посылка, да. Честно говоря, не знаю. Еще никто ничего не заказывал, и я не знаю. Так что если закажете, будете первыми. Дайте мне знать потом, как до вас дошло все. Окей. Okay. Um, so as I was saying about Jan Timon, right? We were starting that story about Jan Timon. All right. So at one of the Linaris tournaments, we have seen suddenly a girl talking to Jan Timon. And of course, whenever there are girls in the chess world, and there are not that many, and whenever there is one, there is always a talk, right? There is always gossip involved. And everybody is asking, who is this girl that Jan is talking to? And it turns out that this girl was the uh, future author of his book. Um... Well, get to the totally winning position, then offer a drum. Sounds like a plan, man. Right. And of course, uh, she was, uh, you know, I was in my, what, um, in my teens at the time, 91, right? But I was sort of already starting to get interested in girls. And um, she looked very nice to me, right? And then uh, people were wondering, like, um, what's going on, Jan? Like, uh, what is uh, this girl and you? How you guys um, click together or something? Right? Everybody was curious. 
So I don't know who that girl was, but supposedly the book came out. So if the book came out, you can probably find this book and find the girl, right? So it was around the 90s, all right? Yasser ended, ended up marrying young Timo's daughter. Darth Vader offers me a draw. Normally, normally I would play on, but Darth, I will accept the draw. Uh, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. Um... Oh, Chess Bryce here. My God. When did you arrive, man? That was the daughter of Jan Nagel, a Dutch senator. Gara and his girls. What do you mean, Gara and his girls? We were discussing Jan Timon and his girls. And now suddenly we're talking about um, Yasser. And Yasser is always a huge ladies man. So he wants to ask him about girls. He has a lot of stories. Uh, he was telling me a lot of stories as well, but I'm not going to tell them because they're not my stories to tell. But, you know, chess is... Um, Chess is um, kind of kind of strange world, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, to be honest, the chess players are not that great in the social setting, with a few exceptions like Jababa, right? Like uh, Yasser Seravan, and like Morozevich. If you guys learn want to hear some really crazy stories about the girls, you should catch Morozevich on his mood. In his good mood, because Morozevich, he was, I think he probably beat uh, Yasser and he beat Jan Timon with his stories, but of course nobody knows much because Mor, Mor is a very private person, but um, he's, um, he's, uh, he's a fantastic dude. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk to more about uh, creating sub battles, but unfortunately he is not on Twitch, he is doing only the YouTube channel. But he did tell me that he watches my stream sometimes. And yeah, he's ha having some laughs. But okay. I'm glad people are enjoying my streams, even the colleagues. Uh, see, we even got Chess Bra to join my channel. And visit it sometime. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, for coming. Because, you know, the old guys like us have some stories. Paul Bank, my god. <laughs> but, you know, guys, I'll tell you, um, not talking about the ladies here, but um, I, was, I think I was very lucky. Um, I was very lucky to meet, actually, Arnold Danker. Danker, the grand player of the American chess generation like together like was fine and I think um, he was already like um, in his 70s I think or uh, when I met him in the 80s when I just got to the US Arnold Denker yes I was I was a kid I just got to the US and I met him that was before he made his famous Denker uh, tournaments remember the way the high school players play right um, what stories about Roman Shinji? Come on, guys. You're asking me stories about other people that are other people's stories. I can tell you only my stories, right? And right now I'm I'm sort of a little bit tired. So, Mr. Vlad is not playing open Spanish. He's been playing this line against me. You're breaking the protocol, sir. You should be playing open Spanish. When the time comes to play Chigorin and martial attack and anti-martial attack and other C91 uh, lines, then we will play these lines. Right? But today is not the day. But okay. I will indulge you since... Um, we're all being nice here. Um, 2000 Danker co-champ in the house. Good. Danker, my god. he, You know, I consider those people in the um, 
you know, because he must have uh, played Batvenik and even Elekhine, right, Danker? Because he was uh, already playing in the 40s, uh, he was one of the grandmasters, so him, like Batvenik, like uh, um, Bronstein, right, they are like the forefathers of modern chess. So that was a huge privilege. That was a huge privilege, guys. And there is something about that generation of people. There is something about them that is different. Completely different from them from all the modern stuff, guys. You know, the attitude, the way they talk. Um... Mm-hmm. No. I mean, chess is a sport, right? There is a difference between respect and... But also, you have to consider that when you're a young player, you want to play your best chess when you're playing such people, right? Because you want to show that you're worthy to be there. Right? So it's no longer about respect, it's, uh, it's about uh, trying to show your best chess, to prove that you are there for a reason. Yeah, basically you just play like this, uh, b4 and b5, this is the standard destruction in Spanish. Um, the b5 pawn is weak. You don't worry about the black A pawn going forward because because there is idea this bishop d3, knight c2, knight a3, hitting this pawn on b5 and blockading the A pawn. Right? Because black has no light squared bishop, this b5 pawn will be very vulnerable. A5 is impossible, so these types of positions are considered to be better for white. Bishop d3 anyway. Alright. Even if black gets that f5 in, what then? It becomes like King's Indian, except that um, White has a lot of uh, stuff, right? Queen e2, rook c1, I don't know. Queen b3, I like queen e2. You should have played bishop h4, I think, that was more to the point. Hello, your queen is um, attacked, sir. Alright, let's pretend I didn't see that. Wait, what do you mean you're stupid? You're not stupid, man. Nobody deserves to be called stupid. Believe me. Well, I, I am not trying to kill him, right? I'm trying to teach him. Yeah, I'll be streaming constantly now. I'm eating my wife's cooking. It's sort of like a brownie. Mm-hmm. 
All right, Vlad, thank you very much. We're all stupid from time to time. Exactly. My god, I have 33 m membership requests. What is this? Why do I suddenly have 33 membership requests? What? My god. There is no room for bots in my club. I'm sorry. Well, one day we'll have a very smart AI that will be superior to human in absolutely everything. But until the day comes, we are stuck with imperfect beings. Who can do or say dumb things like me, often does it. I often say very say I often say a lot of stupid things. In fact, my my dad sometimes told me that I should just be quiet and say nothing rather than say something and uh, confirm that I'm stupid, right? There's like famous saying in Russian. All right, so there is this famous line. Let's see how you play this. The arena is for subscribers, members of the club, or both. It's for both. Thank you for subscribing for two months, Mr. Hisokach. Is Kingside Bishop in Spanish better than Queenside Bishop? My god, there is no yes or no answer. You should discover that on your own. There are no clear cut ways in chess. Some things you have to, again, discover on your own, man. And feel the beauty of the game. If you play uh, Legends of Runeterra, there is this Lorraine character, which says that I am going for the beauty of the... <clears throat> I don't know what whatever he was doing, but he was going for the beauty. Alright, so let's grab this guy. Um, are you gonna try to hit my pawn on c5? I guess you are. So let's play a5, prevent that b4. Are you not playing the yearly bullet? Future people will mostly likely be cyborgs with human brain in the synthetic body. Yeah, that's why I love. I you, I always love to read science fiction books, guys. Um, all sci-fi stuff. In fact, you know, I was often talking about how, for example, Michael Crichton, right, and other guys uh, became really famous. Their books became movies. But then guys like Jack Choker, right, with his absolutely brilliant work, which was called uh, the um, Midnight at the Well of Souls. It was the <clears throat> five book series. Never never made it to a movie, but it deserved a movie, I think. It was one of the best sci-fi. Also, he had this um, trilogy with the Kintara Marathon series, right? And we, we spoke actually of a lot of sci-fi books like, uh, I think, a month ago or something. So you guys uh, made a lot of mention of other books that were worthy. And um, yeah. Yes, uh, sci-fi is the future, right? That is the job of the sci-fi masters to describe the future for us the way they see it. <clears throat> Not exactly the job, but I'm, you know, you know what I mean. All right, so d4. I really don't want to play d4. I really don't want to play d4. Can I play three here? Mm, all right, let's play standard. Rook b8. So let's just go for this. 
Let's just go for this. Yeah, so the sci-fi vision gives you a lot about the people and future in eyes of the um, the writer. So Isaac Asimov, of course, is the um, the father of all that, right? Thank God, finally, some of his books were recognized, made into the movies. But of course, I Robot got butchered in my mind. The plot was completely different from the one in the book, right? Yeah. Sci-fi read from the 70s and 80s, correct. Yeah, those were good stuff. What is the name of the book? Well, the name of the author was Jack Chalker. I actually really love his book so much that uh, I actually wrote to him <coughs> and asked him about why, why his book and not. And he said the script, the script was made, but he died before. I think the guy died before he they made the, uh, finalized the agreement with the Hollywood, but yeah. Great writer. Interesting vision of the future. <coughs> All right, so how do we proceed here? Should we just grab this pawn and allow him to play bishop page four? Let's just play h5 first, yeah? Let's not allow bishop page four. See how slowly black infiltrates? It takes patience and time. Well, you probably can grab this pawn though, yeah? Grabbing pawns is our specialty. C4, I don't like. And queen c4 back. Then potentially it goes to f8. Queen controls the square. I don't know. I, I think I'm I'm probably too slow for this. <coughs> oh, rook f1. Blundering rook f1, man. Should have just played rook f1, I think. My god, why not bishop c5? I'm giving you so many chances, you should use them. I'm not giving you them on purpose, but uh, still, chances are there. Yeah, he was after bishop c5, he was completely winning. Jack Chalker. Yeah, he wrote many books, like, uh, you know, Anne Rice was one time my favorite. I read all her uh, Vampire Chronicles, right? Entire set of them. Also read The Witching Hour. I love those. The first movie was more or less... Um, True to the book, right? But the third movie, even though it was more successful than the first movie, the plot was completely uh, different, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You know, guys, what I regret, actually? The one thing I never did when I was in the USA is that I never visited <coughs> the... Um, that famous French um, place in the U.S., in the New Orleans, right before the Katrina hit it. You know, the old New Orleans. <clears throat> yeah, before Katrina. Supposedly it was such a grand place, a lot of jazz festivals, 
every year, yeah. French Quarter, you know, parade, fun, Mardi Gras, right? Yeah, Mardi Gras, but before Katrina, right? I don't know about the the modern times because I obviously am not gonna get a chance anymore. But um, jazz blues, great food, gorgeous buildings, yeah. Mm. All right, everybody, thank you for staying in this tournament. We have actually 15 players at the end. Thank you so much. Mm. The quarter is intact? No. Okay. So, guys, if you get a chance, go to New Orleans. Experience something else, right? Do you intend to live in Russia for the foreseeable future? We're planning to go to Europe, but... Um, and then the COVID happened, right? And Europe doesn't accept uh, Americans or Russians or anybody outside of the European Union unless the countries are considered to be safe. And I don't think they are considered to be safe. Hopefully the restrictions will be lifted. But the USA is considered to be the most black plagued country by now. Which is messed up, guys. Poland always welcome for you. Well, thank you very much, Poland. We would consider it, but it's still part of the EU and it doesn't allow travel. Um, my God, you're using such words. You know, it immediately tells me one thing. It's uh, you have either strong heritage based on the political Cold War or there's something personal, yeah? All right, dude, we're not here talking about our love for the country, right? I believe personally in the in the ancient philosophy that the earth belongs to everybody. There's no certain country that is better than the other. People are temporary. The earth is like what? Five, six billion, old, billion years old. Humanity is what? A mere 20, 100,000 years maybe? You know, we don't own this earth, it was there before us, and it's most likely gonna be there after we self-destruct. Most likely. Right? You know, it's gonna survive. We're not gonna blow it up, right? We're most likely gonna blow up ourselves. And because if you look at the history, right, this, um, the age that we live in is considered to be, what, the fourth or the fifth age according to the Indian um, mythology, right? There were civilizations that rose and fell and destructed before us. Yeah. Anyway, I, I believe that uh, the governments are artificial constructs. That, uh, you know, with the borders and all that is artificial stuff to prevent people from fr freely migrating and enjoying the planet. Which is uh, basically everybody's right to travel. Unrestricted. And I think... You know, we all are responsible for the planet, right? There is a huge, uh, huge philosophical question about the the money, right? And the effect it has on the human civilization. Because they often say that the money is the root of all evil. Then again, how do you imagine the economy without money? Practical ideas on this. Sure. I hate to sound like Elon Musk, but, uh, you know, you cannot stay in one place for a long time. You know, you, like the God said, right? Go forth and multiply, right? We should uh, go forth and colonize. Like in any decent 4X space game, we should colonize other planets. We should move out in space. Imagine, four or five generations from now, from the first colonies on Mars, for example, the way the humans will look on Mars in four or five generations, it will be drastically different from the humans the way they look on Earth, right? Because all that physiology, all that effects and stuff. Supposedly, if we can terraform, and we should start to learn how to terraform other planets, right? Learn how to adapt to other environments. Come on, guys! It's not it's it's not it's not it's not that hard, right? 
learn how to adapt to survive and uh, I think a lot of people will be actually happy to go to other worlds, other planets and try to live there. I think. Yeah, let's not talk about the market, it's the economy, right? But I'm talking about the, the future of the humankind. I think it's, 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 it's the only solution actually. There, there was some crazy story I read about a couple of years ago. Uh, supposedly there was this guy from the future. No, the guy from the present who managed to travel to the future and then he returns back. So he had this absolutely crazy story which was so crazy that I actually tended to think it was a pretty good vision of what the future uh, looked like. So basically in the future, uh, about four, 500 years from now, there are floating cities and uh, the human population in the world is very limited. All right. And um, so uh, there is elite people who are allowed to, to, they are the bosses and they decide who does what, what genes that they have and uh, who gets to procreate. And, um, but the rest, uh, the people others decide. It's sort of like a communism. There are no jobs, no money. People do stuff. But there's a very limited number of people. They say that the economy and to keep the planet green and ecologically viable, there are no manufacturing, there are no, no anything. So the planet is green and the humans are only allowed to be at about, I don't know, 4 million in uh, different cities across the whole planet. Sounds unbelievable, but my God. Well, I mean, any game, right? You, 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 you start to expand at some point because you have overpopulation, right? You have to expand and you have to, you know, go and take more territory, right? And there is so much territory in space. I mean, right? We all have those uh, Star Trek dreams, like Federation. What is Federation? Like humanity expanding across different planets, meeting other civilizations, also space-faring civilizations, making friends, right? Defending, uh, you know, expanding, right? I, I love Star Trek uh, stuff. Um, it just makes perfect sense to me, you know? I think uh, if we learn how to terraform other planets, we become really serious about it. You know, uh, I mean, scientists have been studying the number of planets that are habitable, right? I think they identified quite a few planets by this time. And it's only a matter of question of economy how to send those people on the technology. So learn the technology. My God. Instead of uh, creating technology to kill people, just, uh, you know, besides, uh, you know. Anyway. You know, spending, imagine all that money that is being spent on arms, right? On arms. Can you imagine what would have happened if that money was spent somewhere good? You know, for good of the humanity. All those billions of dollars of... Uh, space is a very hostile environment. Correct, correct. But it is, it has to be, it has to be, it has to be done, right? Right, exactly. First Mars, Europe, and then other stuff. Right. Learn the technologies, learn new technologies, develop. What we're doing right now, in what I think the, the humanity is doing itself, is basically is destroying itself. It's so very focused on fighting each other, right? Controlling the best, the, the greediest, and the, the, what is it called? The wolf eat wolf thing, right? Instead of cooperating, and cooperating and learning and uh, moving on, expanding. Right. If you guys uh, read Vanga prophecies, it will all come to pass. Right. I'm not sure if you guys heard of Vanga, but um, you know there, there is such a famous Bulgarian prophecy uh, woman, and um, Ilunjinov went to her actually to ask her about his future, and she told him he'll be like very influential person. That was before he became FIDE champion, uh, FIDE um, president. Right. So she actually had a huge number of Krushka and Maika didn't send, but no, sorry, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, could you please comment on some of the games from the arena, <clears throat> guys? I am dead beat, to be honest. Um, 
Понятно. Alright, people. I need to get a break. Um, I'll, because I'm playing Saturday, Sunday, now Monday. Streaming. Uh, let's see who we can raid. Suggest the uh, the targets. Let's call them targets. Right. Again, Alan ZQTFT. That's the guy who um, is my current... I'm learning from this guy about the other guy, uh, other games. Okay, let's see. Chess. Because there is a rivals thing going, right? Um, Chiyu is actually online. Which opening for next Monday? Which opening for next Monday? Um, I don't know. Let's discuss it on the forums. Uh, probably some Sicilian or something. Something fun. All right, the big Greek Shach. That's a German channel. Actually, I see a German channel for the first time. Dance, music, English, educational. Um, Jeffrey Xiong going over his game with Vladimir Fedosev. Mamedyarov. Mamedyarov is live? What? No, that's past videos. Okay, my god. My bad. Alright, so who do you guys want to see? Uh, Penguin. Chazilla. Beastie. Here the bullets, Buddha, STL Chess Club, Roman Kozlov. Hmm. I don't know. I'm asking for the quotes. You want to raid Penguin, Fine Gold? What's up, guys? Uh, which open? Wait, 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 wait. No penguin? Alright, no penguin. Alright, no penguin. Alright, let's go and reach you. I mean, again. You know, she's a women's grandmaster. I've been over this many times, but I like playing chess, but when it, at the end of the day, I like playing with people. I love playing team chess tournaments. I generally do. Yeah, I think I she explains stuff really good. Ready? Alright, go. Um, so... <laughs> Alright, there you go. Oh, God is ready. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Gada, once again for the raid. Huge shout out to Gada. If you guys aren't following Gada Kamsky already, you really should. He is literally a thousand times better chess player. Okay, a thousand is too low. He's like a million times better chess player than I am. Thank you so much, Gada. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 